Today I'm going to show you a plugin I've written uh, that generates a, a plating type pattern on uh, an existing 3D mesh. Um, I've written it to be uh, uh, as quick as possible so you can quickly generate uh, the uh, pattern and uh, you can enter a random seed that will uh, generate different effects for you. Um, uh, I'll show you the manual process that I've automated first to show you uh, that um, I've um, I did it to remove the tedium um, of generating this sort of pattern. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'll undo the um, uh, the plugin and uh, show you uh, the manual process, which is really tedious. So it would involve selecting. Uh, various interlocking plate patterns on your mesh and then you bevel those and then extrude them in and then um, the uh, shading wouldn't be right uh, so you'd have to add an edge split modifier to split all the edges out um, uh, and then if you want to add more it starts to get messier because you'd have to, well, first of all, with the bevel, do roughly the same sort of bevel and then extrude, and then there'd be the slightly messy affair of tidying these edges up. So it would take you a long time and it would take you a, a while to tidy it all up. So those are the problems that I've um, automated with this plugin. So before I show you uh, more about it, I'll show you how to install as well. Uh, let's delete that. And uh, let's, you go to File, User Preferences. And if you click Install from File and navigate to the place where you saved the plating.py file. And if you click Install from File there, uh, it will appear up if you type generate plating um, it will be here if it's not selected check the checkbox and click save user settings so you won't have to do that again so I'll just um, take you through a little more slowly how the plugin works so I'll add a new sphere as an example but um, it could be really any 3d mesh that uh, is made up of quad faces, so any faces that are made up of four faces. Um, <clears throat> I'll add a subdivision surface modifier just to increase the resolution so that you can see it will work on faster uh, on, um, on more complex meshes as well. Uh, I'll also smooth out the um, Meshes to show you the uh, that show you the effect that I, the um, edge split will do as well. Uh, so um, all you do to um, get to the plugin in object mode, it has two two ways you can apply it to so the whole object or to sub selections. I'll do the whole object first. Uh, if you click on object, there should be an option here saying generate plates. And if we apply the subsurface modifier before we do it. Um, so it will operate over the whole mesh. Uh, if you click that, uh, generate plates. So you can see that the because it's smooth um, uh, shading, um, it, it looks a little distressed, and you can remove that effect by um, checking this checkbox here, edge split. And uh, there you go. So that's all you need to do really. Um, so you can increase the number of um, splits that uh, make up the, the plating effect uh, and you get this interlocking pattern and you can change the random seed here uh, so that it uh, will randomly generate different patterns uh, different interlocking patterns for you uh, and again you can move up and down uh, to uh, increase or decrease the detail there's a few other options as well here um, as well as the seed and the amount of splits that you uh, can do there's also the width of the grooves between the plates uh, so you can adjust that so it's quite small or increase it a little um, sometimes if you increase it too much uh, it might start to um, overlap with one another and you can click the clamp groove width 
by option to stop that happening. Um, you can also change the depth of the grooves as well, so you get a deeper effect there. Um, uh, the edge split uh, checkbox uh, I've talked about before, and that operates a split on the grooves there, so um, you can uncheck it and it would be one whole mesh. So say if your uh, shading wasn't smooth, it would look a little bit more uniform. But we'll leave edge split on there for now. Um, you can also uh, choose to remove the grooves completely uh, in case you wanted to say um, add a solidify modifier to uh, the mesh just to show, give the solid plates. Uh, um, and uh, I'll talk about edge selection only uh, when uh, we're um, editing a just a sub selection of the mesh, which I'll do now. So uh, again, I'll just Control Z to undo that operation. If I press tab now to go into the uh, the edit mesh mode and I select face mode, if I press A to remove all the selected faces, and what I'll do here then is I'll just select a few faces. So um, if I go shift control, I can select a certain, uh, uh, certain parts of the mesh. Uh, so we'll do that. And then um, again, you could either access it through this option here. I tend to uh, press space, and I've already typed generate plates here, so you, you get the um, option just to hand there. So if I click on that, um, you can see the effect come up. The width is a bit high there from my previous example, it will remember previous settings. So I'll bring that groove width down there. Um, the splits look quite high as well, so I just want a little bit more of a pattern, random pattern emerging. And you can start to see that the, um, the whole plating is only operating on the subsection that you selected. Bring up the depth again a little bit. Um, you can also, I've, I have, I've left it so that you could um, move out the depth as well. But um, uh, yeah, a nice effect going there. So there you can um, you can see that uh, the um, effect is in place. Um, so uh, say uh, I'll go back to this option here as well. That's edge selection only. Um, so that's just for uh, if I check it, um, it won't actually apply any um, operations on the mesh. It will just do the selection on the quads for you. So. Uh, you can then choose to do do as you wish, really, if you want to manually bevel it um, or split it, at, split the uh, mesh up. Um, you have that option, and uh, so that's um, the example on the sphere. Uh, I'll just open a um, uh, a file I made earlier with um, where I've applied the um, add-on to um, lots of different shapes. And I'll also show you how to add it to a slightly more complex shape. So here's the sphere that you've seen before. You can add it to a torus. I also created um, a curve and extruded the curve to show you that the mesh will also operate uh, on um, on bendy surfaces. Surfaces. Um, here you can operate it on a cube that I subdivided before adding the adding the um, the plugin. And um, here on a grid. Uh, and I'll just show you here as well. Um, this is just um, a very rough uh, plane shape I've um, uh, I've quickly modelled. Uh, if I tab into, oops, if I tab into that one at least, and uh, I'll select that button just to remove the hidden faces uh, from view. Um, so say I just wanted to decorate the wing here, I can again do a similar trick. And select a certain air area of the mesh, and over here, uh, and then again, if I just have a look at this, I'll move over here so you can see it more closely. Um, again, I'll, I'll hit space. I've already typed in generate plates, but I'll do it again just to show you. Uh, and again, if I select that. Um, again, the smooth because this is a smooth mesh. I want to uh, click edge split, and you can see the uh, see the plates um, curve there. And I can 
change the effect, bring the effect down a bit and have a little play until I get the effect I like. And uh, maybe increase the width a little bit. And there you go. And um, you can uh, continue adding the effects as well. So you can select these edges perhaps. And again, hit space, generate plates. And you can see the plates are being created there as well. Maybe bring down the splits there just so that a few edges are created. And then I'll just tab out of that. And uh, you can quickly create an effect that would have taken a long time previously. So I hope you like the plugin. Uh, if uh, if um, you've got any suggestions uh, for it or any new features um, uh, or any issues with it, uh, please contact me. My website is www.markkingsnorth.com. I can also be reached on Twitter uh, through Mark Kingsnorth. And uh, that's all. I hope you enjoy it.